in india there is a vision of 100 plus smart cities to be built and developed over the next decade many of these smart cities will be retrofitting smart city applications on existing cities however there will be a lot of new smart cities that will be built from scratch amongst the new smart cities that will be built from scratch the prominent smart cities from an indian perspective are magarpatta in pune maharashtra and dholera in gujarat building a smart city from scratch has its own set of opportunities and challenges it has its own set of advantages and disadvantages we will see some of it in the video next what you will realize is that when planning for new smart cities there are three things that stand out in the planning process one the security of the citizens and the city infrastructure two use of renewable energy for smart city applications and three traffic control mechanisms for safe and convenient commutation and transport in india the dream of smart cities is strong smart cities are the future of india they are going to play a big role in india's position on world map and its role in world politics welcome to the model city farmer shankar magar once grew sugarcane here now his farmland has given way to shiny glass buildings India's first so-called smart city was built on his fields. Around the clock, there are people working here for customers all over the world. Fifteen years ago, this was all just fields. Now an entire city has been built on land that I used to farm. Here in Magarpata city, we now have people working in 26 IT parks. Magarpata is a showcase city. It reflects everything that India would like to be – efficient, clean and safe. It was built by investors with the promise of rapid growth and a new prosperity. Smart cities like this one are now planned for areas all over the country. It's hoped they will bring the kind of progress India is looking for. We've come to Shankar Magar's home. He's telling his two grandchildren how life suddenly changed when the city was built. It was a dramatic transformation. Look, this was our old house. The cow shed was right next to it. That's where we kept our livestock. The family owned 35 hectares of land. They turned it over to investors who now run the new city. As a farmer, I only had one set of clothes. I would wash my clothes in the evening and leave them out to dry so that I could wear them again the next day to the market. That's what life was like back then. India is looking to modernize. Eight new cities are to be built between the capital New Delhi and the financial hub Mumbai. The first one will be Dalera, dubbed the dream city by its planners. Dalera is to be the epitome of efficiency and luxury. It's a dream that India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is committed to turning into reality. Dilera is also said to be a smart city, a perfect world with a perfect design, as highlighted in this promotional video. India is going to emerge as one of the world's largest construction markets as it aids millions of homes. The government wants to build 100 smart cities throughout India. 
In some cases, existing cities will be retrofitted with modern technology, while others will be built from scratch. For the first time, we're going to run a competition in India to determine where the smart cities will be built. These intelligent urban centers come with all the latest technology. Energy will come from renewable resources. Security is an absolute top priority. And a network traffic control system is designed to avoid congestion on the road. These Indian cities are to compete with the world's most advanced urban centers. We've joined two real estate agents who want to show us the land where the new Dalera Dream City is to be built. In three to four years, the investment will have paid off. The government is planning huge projects. The entrance gate to the residential area has already been built. The farmer who owns this land wants a share of the 10 billion euro project. He's divided his land into individual plots. One of the agents tells us there's an industrial park just four kilometers from here, where there will be 800,000 new jobs. He's convinced in three or four years' time, this will be a top location. They tell us the price for land is set to soar in the coming years, and that most plots of land in this area have already been sold. Let me show you on the map. Opposite here will be Dolera International Airport, serving both passengers and freight. 92 hectares are reserved for that. A road sign is so far the only evidence of the planned airport. But in just two years' time, it's all supposed to be ready. That's when the first residents are set to move in. The government is expecting a rapid economic miracle. In just 15 years' time, the new Dalera is set to house two million people. India is looking to reinvent itself here at high speed. In Magarpata, the model smart city, things turned out exactly as many critics said they would. India's first smart city has been designed exclusively for the financial elite. Those less well-off have simply been overlooked. While local residents have made a good life for themselves in their smart world, the workers who do all the low-paid jobs are forced to live outside the city. But one thing does make this model city different. The investor has turned the former landowners into shareholders. Satish Magar is the man in charge here. It was his idea to encourage international firms to come to Magarpata. 70 farming families have given their land so that the city could be built. In return, they received shares proportionate to the size of their land. By giving them a share in the profits, he was able to win their support. See, normally what happens in India, it's across the country, not only in Pune. Uh, when the farmer sells his land, uh, he has three major things to do to spend his money. He drinks a lot, he has big weddings and he builds a big house, which everything goes in no time. Land pooling by government and giving to developers doesn't make any sense. The basic fundamental difference between uh, the governmental agencies and us here is that in such model, you have to learn to share. Uh, if you want everything for yourself, then you cannot do it. And that is what the government wants to be a developer also, and they want to have the cake and eat it too, it becomes difficult. You need to share everything. The former sugarcane farmer Shankar Magar certainly approves of this new urban life. Only his clothing reveals that he was originally a farmer. We've gradually become businessmen. I have income through my shares in the city. I benefit from the profits. Today, I own a restaurant near the cyber city. Two restaurants in the Seasons Mall and one in the Phoenix Mall. We also have a construction company. My sons look after the business. I look after them.
Magarpata is the first privately administered township in the country. People don't just come here to work. Some choose to live in Magarpata because they appreciate the benefits of a well-run city, managed by a business executive. The city administration also provides for leisure activities. There are four committees whose sole task is to plan Magarpata's social life. Priyanka Maheshwari has lived in Magarpata for six years. These days she rarely strays outside the closely guarded city. She spends most of her free time here in a radius of four kilometers from her workplace. As long as she stays here, she feels safe. My husband travels quite a bit. Uh... He is mostly out of the town. He's out and I am living here alone. I don't have to worry about the safety or security or uh, even uh, loneliness because there is so much to do outside. There are health clubs, there are jogging tracks, there are malls. There are... I can go out, do whatever I want. It doesn't affect me. This is what I would call freedom living in India without having this in the back of my head that Oh, somebody's going to chase me here. Whether I'm safe, whether I'm secure here, there's no that kind of worry in my head when I'm out. The Magarpata enclave and its 50,000 residents are guarded by a private security service. The international firms who work here also want safeguards against crime and terrorist attacks. Managing director Satish Magar has designed the security concept to be all-encompassing. We have real-time data of every person who lives here, including the age, uh, whether there are tenants, whether they are here, they leave from here. So the entire data for security reasons is there. We have uh, more than 850 cameras, which are monitoring every movement. And there is a command center uh, where there is 24 by 7, there are people watching what is happening. That helped us so much that we have no thefts. But he's not willing to show us the command center. Magapata is the private property of the company that built it. And as the director of that company, he gets to make the rules. Magapata has been so successful that he is now planning to build two more such cities. We repeat the same format of the residential areas, the recreational areas, and the IT park or the knowledge center which is there around. So that's all been put into it. The privately run city is considered a model for the future, one that can work anywhere in the world. Inside the city, life is good. Priyanka Maheshwari and her husband come to this club regularly with their friends. A glass of beer costs the equivalent of four euros. The only people in India who can afford these prices are the ones who work for an international company. The average wage in India otherwise is 130 euros a month. The software developers and managers here have become almost a caste of their own. They've sealed themselves off from the perceived threat outside the city walls. I can get drunk and walk to my home without a worry. That's as safe as it gets in India. <laughs> Trust me, I have, me, I have watched movies and only in Magarbeta city where I have walked home. Walked. I'm talking about walking home at 2 o'clock in the night. I don't know how many people do that in India. India's smart cities are an attempt to create a utopia. They catapult their residents into modernity while leaving the rest of the country behind. These new cities, built from scratch, are seen by many as the way forward. India could just be the start.